Okay, which coordinate represents a point in the solution set to the system of inequalities below? So y is to be less than or equal to 1 half x plus 13. So that, um, I'm going to use a graphing calculator on this one. So here, um, right, we clear this off. So it's 0.5x plus 13. What's nice is if you scroll all the way to the left here, y has to be less than this than this uh, equation right here. So this blinking uh, symbol right here is a line. We want to get the less than region. So it's the lower triangle. Then it can graph that. I'm going to clear this off here. Um, I want to go back to this real quick and rewrite it. So here, I'm going to subtract 4x and divide by 2. What that does is I get 2y is greater than 3 minus 4x. If I divide by 2, I get y is greater than 3 minus 2x. This will help me enter it into the calculator and think about it myself. So y is equal to 3 minus 2x. Scroll all the way to the left. And this time y is greater than. So we want to scroll through until we get the upper region. Lower region, upper region, where is it? Okay, I must have missed it. Try again. Sorry. There it is. Okay, we graph it too. So it gets you this, um, sometimes it zooms a little bit off. Let's just reset zoom standard. All right, so I'm going to zoom, zoom um, up a little bit. So zoom in. I'm going to scroll up because I can't really see the regions very well. It looks like they're crossing way above here. Sorry, scrolling up. There's a little lag in this, these calculator programs here. Hit enter little bit better. I don't, I don't like it. Sorry. Let's go to zoom standard again. Okay. So you can kind of see that this region is where they cross, right? So anything in the first quadrant seems like it's going to work. Um, one negative four doesn't seem like a very good candidate. Um, well, sorry, negative four, one is definitely, it's over here somewhere. You can just scroll through to kind of see what's happening. It's definitely not the answer. Negative two, two, right, is also, you can kind of see on the graphing calculator, it's not going to work. So our choices are 1, 4, and 2, negative 2. Let's find where 2 is here. Just scroll through it, see how the x value changes. So 2 is about here, right? So negative 2 is not the answer, right? You can see that uh, 2, negative 2 is outside the region. It's kind of blinking in this one region. It's where the crisscross region is. That's the, the common solution. So 1, negative 4, if you scroll over as well, it's also not in the solution set. Let me go back. Oh, that's my mistake. So here, uh, back to this point, I divide both sides by 2. It's not 3 minus 2x, it's 1.5. Sorry. All right, we divide both sides by 2, so 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Okay, well, oh, this happens, I mean, mistakes happen, right? So here, sorry about that, 1.5 um, minus 2x. Okay, hopefully that'll make it a lot easier. All right, so that changes a little bit. So here, the negative 4, 1, and negative 2, 2 is still out of it. But I think you can see that 2, this time negative 2, right? And you can see it barely. It's negative 2.2. .2. It's still in the region. So here, we could go to zoom and zoom in and really verify it. But um, that'll work as well. Now, so the answer is 2, negative 2. Let's say this is happening to you on the graphing calculator. You can't figure it out. Plug in 2 for x into both of these, and plug in negative 2 for y. And you know this is the answer to both of them, because it's the only point that when you plug in 2 and negative 2 for x and y, that the inequality is actually true. Like for the left-hand side in this case will be greater than 3. Plug in all the other points, and you'll find that when you plug in x and y, you get untrue inequalities. So that's another way of doing it if my graphing demo there just really confused you.